Oh my god, let me cook. This I appreciate the six months. My homie name side. That's crazy. Now listen, chat. I'm about to make a whole big, a, a whole big picture here, right? Now, so you know, boom, you getting hit with all this dopamine. You enjoying your time with your phone. Whether you looking at the thotties, whether you just binge watching some of content, preferably my, you know what I'm saying? Because then you probably learning something along the way, right? You, you just getting hit with this constant dopamine. It, it just feel good. All this addiction to these apps or whatever, right? Some of y'all could even have a porn addiction. It could, it could extend beyond any means. I'm not making, trying to be specific here, right? Now, you trade that for actual, like, like boredom, right? And when I say boredom, I don't mean you just sitting in the fucking crib doing nothing, like you bored as shit. I just mean sitting there and actually thinking. Like, what, what, what would you do if you wasn't sitting here always constantly consuming, always constantly taking in, always constantly listening to something, but listening to yourself? But sitting here and putting the time into the things that you want to do. Or, or, or even finding out how good you could be at something. Here's another picture I'm about to paint. Go Am, I appreciate the 510 bits, man. Turn me the fuck up, man. I'm going to let the, I'm gonna let the uh, voice speak before I Double keep talking. Time skip. W Dojo Taekwon to the moon. Chat. To the moon. Chat, this is the one I'm really about to hit y'all with. And I'm, and I'm really going to make a whole video on this, right? Now. You get addicted to dopamine, right? It just this feel good sensation, kind of like 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 uh, like being in a casino or whatever, right? But the things that help you get better, the things that grow you, the things that make you stronger, are the opposite of all that dopamine shit, bro. It's the opposite of all that rewarding and, and all that quick and, and fast and easy sensation that you get when you scrolling on your phone. So it's like one of the first, like I said, one of the first things I realized is that you get into this, this, this constant vibe of getting everything you want with a snap of your finger. You want to look something up, you go find it. You want to, it's, it's always constant shortcuts. You want to order some food, you get straight order. You ain't got to, you ain't got to drive to the store. You ain't got to walk to the store. You just order that shit. Everything is the convenience of our fingertips. Everything is distracting us. Everything is just whatever. We just never have a moment to actually sit there. So it's like, boom, you get used to this. You get used to this, um constantly feeling good vibe and you and you like push towards this area of comfort this like comfort zone that you get from always feeling good and always having quick and easy access to things when in reality every fucking skill you can think of from anybody who has ever achieved anything beyond average in life if you want to be more than average you gotta fucking be because you're in the dojo my nigga it's, it's no choice anybody who ever achieved anything above average took something very boring but maybe they was passionate about it. It could be playing an instrument. It could be writing. It could be uh, uh, playing a sport. It, whatever. And they work on that shit every fucking day. Even if it's, if it's boring. Even if it, if, it, if it hurts them physically. Even if, it, even if it's like they're not even really seeing your result. It's just the fact that they know they're improving. Now keep in mind. It's like, a, it's like, a, it's like two sides of a coin. Something feels good. But something actually makes you better. And it's like, we get used to feeling good, we don't get used to being better. So if we always wanna if we always wanna be feeling good instead of being better, it's like we prioritize what actually changes our life, what, what actually improves us. We always looking for information that makes us feel good, reassurance. You fucking name this shit. I mean you even got shit, y'all know how to, the woman loves zodiacs. But like, like it's always we always being told what to believe in and how to feel. We never can sit there and, and sit there in the discomfort and, and and all types of shit. Now listen, at the speaking event that was in New York, if you was there, I had a thesis for my for my speech. Right, I said, I said well, I'm, I'm gonna find it. It's in my notes, right? And this thesis I was cooking, bro. Y'all gotta, gotta let me cook, chat. This shit made me realize, bro. Like when I put everything to the side, bro, and I just be thinking, I get in my head, bro. I really be cooking. Chat, I said this. This is my thesis for my speech. It was like about 10, 15 minutes. I said, responsibility creates struggle. Sh struggle creates strength. And strength creates structure. And the idea of struggle. Right? I'm low-key spoiling y'all shit because I'm, I'm really cooking. Like, I'm about, to, I'm about to start writing and preparing my book. I'm about to like, it's, it's all going to be in the video as well, right? It's an idea I came up with called like... Uh, the, the scars of success. Are y'all with me, chat? Are y'all following me so far? Are it, say something in the chat if you're with me right now. Because listen, let me fucking cook. I'm about to cook up, my nigga. So you better be ready now. If you ain't ready now, you ain't got much time, brother. You ain't got much time. So if you ready, say something in the motherfucking chat right now.